rich not only in money, but also with your imagination. Be rich in your love, and for little have appreciation. Be rich in your thinking, because it will produce wealth. Be rich about your life, and always love self. Be rich when thinking about your future to come. Set your standards we provide human development and health education through martial arts science. Also, we provide academic enhancement, social development, and work production. We are, as of today, partnered with CPS, YMCA, Columbia College, South Suburban College, and Thornton Township Youth Committee. A little bit about Mr. Sensei Fred Jordan. He's our founder and CEO. He is also world, a real world-renowned master martial artist world record holder and a United States champion. Mr. Jordan has 11 black belts. He has been vigorously trained in Japan, Korea, and Thailand. Um, Mr. Jordan and Amasa is endorsed by the Mayor of Daly of the City of Chicago for providing a tangible concept on achieving healthy success by applying mind, body, and spirit as one focus. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be my honor to present to you today, Fred Jordan. As it relates to martial arts science, uh, you get an opportunity to see from different movies, um, different techniques. You see people kicking, punching, breaking things, uh, jumping high, doing other things. Having an opportunity to have trained abroad as well as here in different arts, what I've developed an understanding is the fact that the focus of martial arts science, what you see, is unlimited. It is not, or it's not limited to what you see on the screen or on television. The concept of focus is described or defined as an, a direct center of attention. What I'm going to share with you today is a concept of something called natural complete focus. Natural complete focus is when you are applying your physical, mental, and spiritual development as one complete focus. physical technique. Also along with that physical technique, you saw mental tenacity. Along with that physical technique, let's one stay. Let's one stay for a second. Also with that same physical and same mental, I had levels of faith. I believed in myself. I believed in my technique. I called exactly what I was going to break before I broke it because I understand the physical technique and I understand the mental tenacity that goes behind it. The mental tenacity, for example, would be I would not let anything distract me from my physical technique. Even though the lights are shining on my face, I would not let it distract me from me concentrating from one end through with the physical technique. That is mind and body working together. The spiritual component is not religion. The spiritual component of martial arts science, the focus, will be faith. So it doesn't matter what your spiritual belief is. I have belief in myself. I have belief in my technique. And whatever your spiritual belief is or religion, that is what you have integrity in. Therefore, what you see in breaking is small compared to what you can actually do if you understand the technique and apply tenacity and apply faith. Is it making sense? Have I really so far? Even when you see me break the boards, that's okay, that's divine. But there's a technique behind breaking. Majority of you here can already break a board. 
But what does breaking truly accomplish? Breaking is not an example of your ability to fight. No one will stand up and let, or no one will lay down when they stack a brick and let you chop them. No one will let you focus on your technique and let you do exactly what it is you're trying to do to them. The breaking is an example of a focus. Now you can use this whole concept and you can apply it in a manner in which it stays unlimited to your concept. So for example, when you saw me breaking, I was not concentrating on breaking the boards. I was concentrating on my physical technique. I was applying the mental tenacity. And I had belief in myself. Physical technique, mental tenacity, and belief in myself. That is mind, body, and spirit. And it all happened in one motion. Therefore, it is not limited to what you see here. And it is not only done when you apply yourself to something. It is a way that you live. To take, it, to take the point even further. When I was saying earlier, any of you can pretty much break boards. I like to, if I have a volunteer, I like to teach you how to do the break right now and share with you exactly how it goes. And if you apply your mental with the physical technique, you will make the break. You a girl. It's not. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Women, okay. men, Larry. Larry. Come on, Larry. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you know you do. You work out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Uh, so everyone knows this is not a magic show. It's not a, a, a show or you know a, a thing of the events. I know you know that I'm already well trained. And uh, Larry did not come with me, so he is now with my people on the side to say, hey. We want to put on the show. There, come with me for a second. The physical technique that I applied when my feet were shorter with the part. Take your feet shorter with the part. Then I applied a slight bend in my knees. Are you right handed or left handed? Okay, that's fine. Just like that. From that position there, you want to now make a tight fist. Good. Bring that fist behind your head. Oh, see here. Just do it a little bit over this way. Now you stay focused on your technique. You do not hit the board, you concentrate on going through the board. And you do not let anything else distract you from what you are doing. Have faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your technique. Concentrate as you go through. You do not hit, you concentrate and you take your technique all the way through. Now I'm here. Okay, now I can go out there and fight for one. That means he had the ability to apply mental tenacity to a physical technique. When you have probably learned that all in karate class, it'll take you years to learn how to break a board or a brick a brick or something to that nature. The concept of the focus is unlimited. So therefore, if you understand the physical technique, for us as adults, our physical technique as it relates to things that we do on our job, I couldn't tell you exactly what that, what that technique is because it depends on what you do. If you do, if you deal in administration, you understand that there are certain movements that you need to make in order to get certain things to the right area in order to keep up with your time. In order for you to achieve what is called a healthy success, not only are you able to accomplish your goals and your objectives, you're doing it in a healthy manner in which you are not sick when you become older. That is the difference between applying 
natural complete focus and just have an ability to concentrate. You want to make sure as we become older and as we live, what we're doing in our life is not tearing, taking life away from us. So any martial artist that you meet and they are broken hands and can barely walk because they spend years training and conditioning their feet and tearing their feet up and they grew extra fingers on their hands, they miss something extremely important. If the art doesn't enhance your life, it is no reason to learn. It should enhance what you do. So I'm not here to promote taking martial arts. I'm here to promote the concept of applying your mind, body, and spirit to everything that you do as one complete focus. The more that you do this, it takes a stronger position in your characteristic traits. So when you see the football players or the basketball players, and you can see their physical techniques. You can see how they physically put the ball in the hoop. You can see how they um, test the football. Even if they're up under a lot of pressure, they have, they have understanding of a physical technique. If they have physical technique, mental tenacity, the more they apply this, it becomes a part of them. So for example, for example, or when you were learning anything, you had to sit there and concentrate. Did, did, what did, did you play any sports growing up or anything now? All right, good. So not, not even a job. So he's just some just letter. Girl <laughs> Anyone played any sports, volleyball, basketball, anything else of that nature? You learned a technique. If you if you were doing serving, I believe you had to keep your eye on the ball. When you hit it, I believe you had to flip your wrist or something to that nature. All right, basketball, we learned how to spread our fingers release, the physical technique. We even had people trying to stop us, but we had to concentrate on that. The more we done it, the more we continued that, that concept of focus, it became a part of us. Kobe Bryant puts the ball in the hoop and makes it look easy. He'll come back and just go put it in, go do it again, go do it again. Other people who play uh, sports, because they understand the physical technique, they make it look easy. So in the beginning, you have to really focus on your on this concept. You have to concentrate, okay, let me really set myself and concentrate on my physical technique. Now let me put my uh, mental tenacity to work in a level in which no matter what's being said to me or being said around me, it doesn't throw me off from my physical technique. And then let me continue to believe. When we work in an organization, the truth of the matter is, you do not cheat the organization if you do not put forth. You cheat yourself. They're going to get what they need out of you because of their control measures. But even if, or even if a job is a stepping stone, when you leave, you should be someone different. And you won't be different because of the people around you at work. You'll be different because you applied yourself. And now you moved on in life. The more you apply your mind, body, and spirit, it becomes a part of you. When you were first learning the technique, when he came up here, he had to concentrate. He was focusing. He was bending his knees. He was pulling back hard. He was making his fist real tight. But it becomes a part of you at one point in time. They make, they put the ball in the hoop and they make it look easy because it is a part of them. I promise you, it is not because I am physically strong. It is because I understand the technique. And then I have applied mental, physical, spiritual to a point that it becomes a part of me. This is what we teach in martial arts science. Now, one time, did I say anything about karate, or judo, or jiu-jitsu, or aikido? Those are the concepts of the technique. But if you can apply your mind, body, and spirit, I had 17 students that came out of high school for full scholarship. When they left college, they came out with either two degrees or number one in their class. And they 
let me backtrack this way. When I say four scholarships, I don't mean all in the same thing. I don't even mean all sport. Some some is baseball, some is marketing. Someone got a scholarship in fashion. When they came out of college, they came out with two degrees. No exception to the rules. Either they had two degrees or they were number one in their class. And it's not because they wouldn't keep their teachers or threaten them with their child. It's because they applied physical, mental, spiritual development to what they did in life in general. There's only one exception to the rule to that, and that's a student that went ahead and decided to do an album. But now the album recently went uh, something as it relates to gold and ran a, a Grammy. If he's from Chicago, his stage name is Lupe Fiasco, but he stayed focused in his concept of applying physical, mental, spiritual development as one. Now, one time getting kicked a producer, but from what I don't know, or anything else that I mentioned. So see, I stand in front of you with a martial arts uniform on, but what the concept is not limited to what you see in the break. It's how we use it in general. Period. As you continue to practice this, they start to lead your characteristic traits. They start to dominate your characteristic traits. This is when you develop true integrity. Now you can honestly give leadership by example. So for when we teach our children at school, we teach them that they are to apply their mind and body and spirit to everything. They do not have any, they do not have much leadership. They do not have the opportunity to really say, well, where can I see it from? The problem with our youth mm -hmm. is us as adults. Mm -hmm. We are not given enough leadership by account. It is not leadership by dictation, but leadership by example. You are not to tell them what to do and cannot perform that ourselves. So in order for us to even be able to do that, we have to be able to apply ourselves in the whole. And they will see it. I personally feel as though the youth are in the condition that they're in because of what they see, not because of what they're told. I know of a lot of people who tell younger people, hey, you need to be more concentrated on your grades, or you need to be more focused on learning something because this is not going to get you anywhere. And personally, I've had bad experiences when, when I was younger where someone would tell me the opposite of what they were doing. Don't be like me. Get an education. And that is the biggest <coughs> part of hypocrisy that we miss as adults. You cannot tell <coughs> someone in their youth to be better than you. If you cannot show them, you ought to say nothing. Because they would lose all their faith if that's our destiny. It is leadership by example. But the way we truly find this is by coming out of the box and our thinking. We have to be able to come out with the idea that there is one walk. There is one way to become successful. The hard work is based on how you apply yourself to it. Why become a millionaire if you cannot enjoy the wealth? Why work a job that you do not enjoy, that you do not like, simply so you can pay your bills? Wouldn't it be better to do something you enjoy doing and tie a business concept to it? What if you like to teach in martial arts? Wouldn't it be better instead of working in an organization you didn't work at to create an entity in which you can travel and teach class because that's something you truly enjoy? I've never gotten tired from it because it's something that you really, or something that I personally enjoy. That is what we have to find, but unfortunately that is not what we are taught. And what I'm saying to a group of adults, if that is what we have to share with our youth, and we have got to show that to them. Even if we're in a position to which we're, doing, we're using an organization as a stepping stone, you put yourself into it 100%. So that as you step up, you are now someone else different. You are now someone in which you are now ready for heavier levels of dealing. And you'll go through it, and you'll deal with it, just like Larry went through the board. And it has nothing to do with your heart and with your mental tenacity and how you live in life. Mind, body, and spirit together as one.
Any questions about anything so far? I know I'm kind of throwing it out quick, but I like to. Uh, it's more like a. It's more of a class. Uh, and I inform you like don't question anything. Anybody have any questions? No. So no. it makes sense so far. Yes, it does. Okay. Good. Natural complete focus is when you apply your mind, body, and spirit as one to everything that you do. If you can apply it as one to everything that you do, it becomes a part of you. At first, it takes some time because we didn't learn this. But once it becomes a part of you, you're somewhere else where the things that you know are nonsense and petty does not hold you back. You don't even give thought to it because you're free. best of our humanity is not yet to be discovered. If we are still thinking that the powerful ones are physical ones, we are still a long way away. Physical, mental, spiritual development has won. It's natural, complete focus. It is unlimited to any area that you use. At that time, if there are not any questions, I will conclude this seminar. And I want to thank you all for inviting me out. And I'd like to thank um, Dr. Williams for being here in the back. And now we are partnered with the Burton Township Youth Committee. So we'll be doing your after school programs as well. The instructors teach the students the same concept physical, mental, spiritual. That is the only way. We guarantee the schools academic enhancement and social development. When I say guarantee, we guarantee it in writing. If they do not see an improvement in students' academics and social behavior, because we are partners, it would not cost their organization anything. And so far, in five years, we have a 100% track record. The instructors, are unselfish in that concept of teaching it. And no one is limited in one area of the teachers. So we push it so that we can actually help see or help the assistance of human development. Again, I am Sensei Fred Jordan. I am a world record holder, uh, a United States champion. I am now also you all's partner. So I will see you all around here quite often and very soon. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.